Hi, my name is Lauren and I'm a software engineer here at Sunrise Integration. In today's video, we're going to talk about Algolia, which is a powerful search and discovery tool that you can add to your website. I'm going to walk you through how to format your data, set up your first index, and add some configurations like searchable attributes. Let's get started. Search is a part of our lives every day. We've become accustomed to instant search ability. So Algolia has created an easy to implement search tool that focuses on speed, relevancy, and user experience. They have cracked the code so you don't have to. Algolia can be used for all industries from e-commerce to media. No matter what kind of website, you will need powerful search so your customers can find what they are looking for. And setting it up with your website is so easy. Algolia offers tools to customize your search, offer product recommendations, and analyze your results. Help your customers find what they are looking for with Algolia. The first step to setting up your search is selecting and formatting your data. You will need to import your data to Algolia where they will host it on one of their servers to ensure your users are getting the fastest search and discovery experience possible. Let's look at some sample data to discuss what's important to think about when sending your data to Algolia. Now here I have some sample product data from Shopify just to give you an idea of how large our data set can be. And we don't need to send all of this to Algolia. We only need to send what is relevant to the search experience. And that can be broken down into four attributes. The first data that we want to send are searchable attributes, such as title and description. This is what your user will actually be looking for when they type in the search box. The next thing we want to select are display attributes, such as a product image, also the title and description. This is what's going to appear once your user hits search. Then we will want to add filtering attributes, such as price or product type. That way your users can filter down even more to find what they're looking for. And finally, you can add custom ranking attributes such as reviews or bestseller metrics. Just another way to customize the search experience for your users. It's important to simplify the data set that you're sending to Algolia to ensure that it is the fastest experience possible for your users. Now that we've selected our data set, we just need to upload it to Algolia. You can either upload a file such as a JSON or a CSV file, or you can use their API client to send your data. They have great documentation on all the languages. So you can use whatever you prefer. And here's a quick example I code in JavaScript. All I have to do is run this code and all of my data will appear in my index in Algolia. Now that we have some data to work with, it's time to configure relevance. This step is super important to make sure your users are getting the best results. And Algolia has incredibly powerful features to fine tune and improve the relevance. But you only need to set up two attributes to get started, the searchable attributes and the custom ranking attributes. We already know which pieces of data we chose just for this purpose. So I'm gonna first pick my searchable attributes, which are my title and body HTML or description. And for custom ranking attributes, I'm going to choose price. We can also take this time to set up our filters under facets, and you can add price and product type to be filtering. And don't forget to hit review and save to finish configuring your relevance and attributes. This is also a great time to look at the display preferences. Algolia is pretty smart and it has already chosen my title and sourced images from the data that I sent in. But maybe you want to add more to what is displayed while your users are searching. I might want to add the description here and maybe also the price. And this is where you can make those edits to make sure that what's displaying is what your users are looking for. And as you dive deeper into creating the best search experience possible, check out Algolia's documentation on ranking and relevancy. They have so many tools at your disposal that you can get started with as needed. The next step is to build out your search UI. You want your users to have an awesome interface while they search and browse. You can create a UI demo straight from your dashboard. 
And this is another awesome place for you to test your search, add display preferences and filters. You can also go to the Algolia documentation to see their widgets showcase. They've created tons of UI elements ready to go. You can customize these widgets or you can even create your own. Let's spin up an instant search app using React. We can follow along Algolia's documentation to install the instant search package and use that to access all of the widgets we saw in the showcase. Then we can customize however we want for our website and our users. It's that easy. Now we have our search all set up and the final step is to iterate. You can use Algolia's analytics dashboard to gain insights into your search's performance and to make informed changes in the future. You can also use some of Algolia's enhanced features such as their AI suite, which can unleash the full potential of Algolia. Thank you so much for watching today's video about Algolia. And if you have any further questions or if you would like help with your implementation, please reach out to our team of experts here at Sunrise Integration. And make sure to subscribe for more helpful e-commerce tips coming out soon.